Welcome to another video. Take a look where we are. So the plan for today is go there and looking for another place to take some photos. Uh, I have to say thanks for the feedback that I had in the last video. So for today we go to far away from Montevideo. Uh, again, it's almost one hour or, or similar to reach there. So what we go to do is try to use a different kind of filter today. So in this way we can improve our photos. For today's video, we, we go to find another place. We are in, in Pan de Azúcar. Pan de Azúcar is a, is a location in, in Uruguay. Near to Pan de Azúcar, we have a, a Cantera Carrara. We are here in Cantera Carrara. So you have to see what beautiful is this place. I mean, it's a part of a rock. I don't know, sorry, what is the correct terminology for, for this place, but you will see. Hey, we are here with Theo. Theo is my dog. Theo. What's up, Theo? Okay, I, we are right to the place here. As you can see here, we have a beautiful, beautiful landscape. So I'm going to try to take some pictures here. Turn is a landscape. The first I'm going to take is a landscape photography with a wide lens. The second photos we go to use another lens. Stay with me. We are trying to get really good images here. As you can see, there is a beautiful background here to, to make take some good pictures. So what I'm going to use is use a CPL filter that I show in, in previous video. So my idea is try to focus in the water here and try to get good contrast with the with the rocks in the in the side. Here is my first picture. As I commented before, I, try, I take three photos, different range. So in this occasion, I go to repeat the process. I go to take three photos here, three photos here, and three photos here. So with nine pictures, nine photos, I go to make a huge panorama view. So what I'm trying to do is get really good contrast for, for these rocks. Uh, I, I have to show what is my, my final, final image. Right now, what I've been using is aperture 14, time 113. 
and low ISO. I mean low ISO in Nikon is almost 50. 50 ISO. I think right now I can get a good image, good photos here. Good, good. Lower the, the brightness using the, the filter. I go to set the time of the camera. Two seconds. So in this way I can avoid the shake. As you can see, for this shot, I go to use a different lens. This is a 17-300 Nikon. So what I've been doing is try to focus on specific areas. For example, this this corner there. Let me focus focus in this area here and try to get a good images in this section here. After I go to focus in this area here, here you see this wall, this stone wall. So I go to make zoom there and try to get good images. So we are finished here. We go to another uh, next location. So please come with me. We are moving to the next location. I think the next location has something of water. So what I try to do is go down to this place and, and take some pictures right, right next to the water. Maybe I can get closer to these rocks. So we continue. So finally, we, we are here. We try to reach the place, but as you, can, you see, we cannot just pass here. So maybe we need to find another way. Here in Uruguay today, we have almost 35 degrees. So maybe not the best day to take photos. But you know, you need to use your free time. If you have a, a regular show, in the weeks you cannot go there and take photos so you need to use the weekends so i'm here and i try to use my time the best possible i'm not sure where we go but we find another path here to follow let me see if i can reach the border of this cantera If I'm not wrong, we are here. The border. Theo, come here. Okay, I think this is a place that I'm looking. Woo. Look at this view. Whoa, nice place here. I see two people here taking some photos. Okay. What we found here is an interesting view. Behind of me, I see the lake. The, I see uh, nice, nice walls with stone. And here with Theo. Uh, so we go to try to get some pictures of these walls behind of me. Natural walls. I mentioned before, I'm using the 7300 lens, so...
Okay, for <coughs> for this shot, uh, what I've been doing is is try to focus in the water, the green water you see there, see? the bottom, and the rocks next to the water. I see really good colors there. After in addition, we can uh, get strong these these colors. So I think we can get a good photos here. So I cross my fingers. <laughs> But I think we can get something like this. Hey Teo, come on. Okay, what's the, one of the the points for today was try to use an ND filter, but you know, at this point, I not found something to use. Right now I know from some 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 landscape to use this kind of filter. Yeah, come on. So I will continue to try and find another spot. As you can see it's a really hot day here in Uruguay. We are in Maldonado. Maldonado is next to the the beaches, but right now we are in the middle of the land so I will continue to try to looking for another spot so here we are in different, different you see behind me we have, a, we have a lot of dogs here but behind me we have a, a beautiful church old church it's not in his best days, but it's really interesting what we have here. So you can see this is a, the door, the main door here. This church, so we can find, I hope, find good images here. Really nice here. It's an old church in all his better days. This is the Pidian church. Has a lot of history here in this place. So, some people talk about some rituals, magic rituals here. Uh, Pidia was a person that built his town, his city, this city, Pidiapolis. So you can see it's really big. So right now it's a tourist attraction. It's all the people in his vacation in here and spend good time. People who want to know some about history. As uh, you can see, really nice building. Was well, really good construction here. So I hope to take some pictures here right now. I go to take, try to set my camera and try to focus something. I'm not sure where. So I go to try to use and the filters to get some picture here to get dark sky maybe is the best So for these shots, what I'm mean doing here is try to get all the sc scope of this old church and try to... So what I've been doing here is try to 
use the landscape photography settings that I have in here in this in this in this camera. Focus, uh, I mean aperture 14, log ISO. So this is the result. Okay, we are in different spot right now. We try to we came to the sea shore. Try to find a better place here to take some pictures. Maybe in the middle of these rocks we can find something. You can see the color of these rocks. Really interesting. The change that we have here. Maybe here or here behind me. I'm going to try to take some photos for there for this direction here. I think we have good contrast. The soil is in a good place. Let me see what we can see there. I think is there is better brightness for this this side these rocks in the water maybe I can get a good shot here as you can see here I see an ending filter with CPL boats so what I am trying to do is get some kind of effect in the water you see uh, this filter uh, increase the, the brightness of the water take time to take the photo we need to spend some minutes uh, some seconds to, to reach the photo it's difficult to set the controls you need to test many times to get the final photo <laughs> you can reach this kind of photo. Okay, folks, I think for today is all. You know, if you have some questions, everything you want you can write down in, in the comments thanks for watching and keep on trying <laughs>